Every iTech template cutter comes with an ADSI software installation CD. To begin the installation process, simply insert the CD into the CD-ROM drive of your computer and follow the on-screen prompts. Make sure to disconnect any cables between the iTech cutter and your computer and follow the on-screen instructions accordingly. When asked what type of equipment is being installed, click the cutter button and continue. If you have not already set up the stand for your iTech cutter, you will have the option to view the assembly instructions when prompted by the installation CD. If you have already assembled the stand, simply click Next. Now you will be asked what kind of connection you will be using to communicate with the template cutter. Each iTech cutter comes with a serial cable that can either be directly linked to the serial port on the computer or connected to a USB adapter and cable that can connect to any USB port on your PC. After you've decided which type of connection you will be using, select the appropriate connection when prompted. Once you have selected the correct connection, go ahead and connect the cable to your iTech cutter and PC. Then turn on the cutter. The next few steps will begin the installation of the direct cut driver and remote panel software. During this process, the software will automatically detect your iTech cutter and assign it to an appropriate COM port. If you should need to disconnect the cutter from your computer, make sure to reinstall the cable back into the same port where it was connected before. If you have any questions about how to set up your USB or serial cable, a diagram will be displayed on how to connect your cable of choice. During this time, the iTech remote panel will be installed. It is a useful tool for calibration, diagnostics, and other troubleshooting strategies. At this point, loading instructions will be displayed on your screen and will walk you through step by step on how to load the material into the cutter. Once you have loaded material into the cutter, click Next Step and continue following the prompts. Once the driver installation is complete, you will be asked whether or not to print a test pattern. This is recommended as to verify communication between the PC and the iTech cutter. If you select yes, a print dialog box will appear. In the drop box, select the correct Allen Direct Cut device and press OK. The cutter will plot a small test pattern on the corner of the material. Once the test pattern is complete, continue to follow the on-screen prompts. If you would like, you can view the iTech user manuals before exiting the installation. Once you've exited, the installation is now complete and three new icons have been placed on your desktop. The iTech remote panel, an Allen direct cut help file explaining the use and features of the cutter driver, and an ADSI manuals file containing PDFs outlining operational guidelines, general how-tos, and troubleshooting tips.